insane things that were acceptable for children in the 1960s. The 1960s were a time of change. It was a decade of political upheaval and social unrest. But it was also a time of great progress, when people fought for and won many important civil rights. With all that was going on in the world, it's no wonder that some things that were considered normal back then would be considered shocking today. Here are some things 60s kids did that would horrify us now. They played with mercury. Mercury was once used in thermometers, and it was also a popular material for making toys. But mercury is a toxic substance, and it can be harmful if swallowed. In fact, mercury poisoning can cause serious health problems, including brain damage. They drank lead-laced water. Lead is a toxic metal that can cause serious health problems, including brain damage. It was once used in paint and gasoline, and it can still be found in some older buildings. Drinking water that contains lead can cause serious health problems, especially for children. They rode in cars without seatbelts or airbags. Seatbelts and airbags are essential safety features in cars today, but they didn't become mandatory in the United States until the late 1990s. If you rode in a car without a seatbelt or an airbag in the 1960s, you were putting your life at risk. They ate food wrapped in aluminum foil. Aluminum foil is a thin metal sheet that's often used to wrap food, but it can also cause health problems if eaten. When aluminum foil is heated, it can release harmful toxins into the food. These toxins can cause health problems, including brain damage. They used asbestos-laden insulation in their homes. Asbestos is a mineral that was once used in insulation. Because it's heat-resistant and flame-retardant, but asbestos is also a toxic substance, and it can cause serious health problems if inhaled. In fact, asbestos exposure is the number one cause of lung cancer in the United States. They played with lead paint chips. Lead is a toxic metal that can cause serious health problems, including brain damage. It was once used in paint and gasoline. It can still be found in some older buildings. Playing with lead paint chips can cause lead poisoning, which can affect almost every organ of the body. They drank water from polluted rivers and lakes. Water pollution is a major problem today, but it was even worse back in the 1960s. Many rivers and lakes were so polluted that they were unsafe to drink from or swim in. And because there was no EPA to regulate pollution back then, industries could dump whatever they wanted into our waterways without consequence. They sprayed DDT in their yards to kill insects. DDT is a toxic pesticide that was once widely used in the United States. It can cause serious health problems, including cancer, and it's also harmful to the environment. In fact, DDT is so toxic that it's been banned in the United States since 1972. They played with toy guns that looked realistic. Toy guns that look realistic can be dangerous because they can easily be mistaken for the real thing. In fact, there have been several cases of children being shot by police officers who mistook them for criminals armed with real guns. They rode bikes without helmets or reflective gear. Helmets and reflective gear are essential safety features for cyclists, but they didn't become mandatory in the United States until the late 1990s. If you rode your bike without a helmet or reflective gear in the 1960s, you were putting your life at risk. They hitchhiked to get around town. Hitchhiking a ride with a stranger is not safe, and it can be dangerous if you don't know who you're getting in the car with. There have been cases of people being kidnapped or murdered after accepting a ride from a stranger. So if you hitchhiked to get around town back in the 1960s, you were putting your life at risk. They went to the dentist without wearing gloves or masks. Dentists used to be allowed to practice without wearing gloves or masks because it was believed they weren't necessary. But we now know that dental procedures can cause serious health problems if the dentist is not wearing gloves or a mask. In fact, hepatitis and other diseases can be spread through contact with blood or saliva. So if you went to the dentist without wearing gloves or a mask back in the 60s, you were putting your life at risk. Pregnant women smoking and drinking. Smoking and drinking while pregnant can cause serious health problems for both the mother and the child. Smoking can cause preterm labor and drinking can lead to fetal alcohol syndrome. Both these conditions can cause lifelong health problems for the child. So if you were pregnant in the 1960s, you were putting your child's life at risk by smoking and drinking. Smoking was emulated and encouraged. Smoking was considered to be a very fashionable thing to do in the 1960s. Celebrities like Marilyn Monroe and Audrey Hepburn smoked, and it was considered to be very sexy. 
So even if you didn't smoke yourself, you may have been encouraged to start by all the smoking celebrities. Unsafe Cribs Cribs can cause serious injury or death to a baby if they're not safe. But unfortunately, many cribs were not safe in the 1960s. There were no regulations requiring crib manufacturers to test their products for safety, so many cribs had dangerous features like protruding screws or weak slats. And because there was no way to enforce these regulations, many parents just bought whatever crib was cheapest or most fashionable. So if you were a child of the 1960s, you may have been sleeping in a crib that was unsafe. Trampolines without nets Trampolines without nets were common in the 1960s, and many children were injured or killed by them. Trampolines are now considered to be very dangerous, and most of them come with safety nets. So if you used to play on a trampoline without a net back in the 1960s, you were putting your life at risk. No Childproofing Back in the 1960s, people didn't use childproofing measures in their homes. This meant that there were lots of things in the home that could be dangerous for children. For example, there were no gates on stairs, no locks on cabinets, and no covers on electrical outlets. So if you were a child back then, you may have been injured by something in your home that wasn't childproof. Walking to and from school alone Walking to and from school alone was very common in the 1960s, and there was no such thing as a stranger danger campaign. So if you walked to and from school alone back then, you were putting your life at risk. Going to a friend's house unescorted Going to a friend's house unescorted was also very common in the 1960s, and because there was no such thing as stranger danger, many children would go to a friend's house without telling their parents. So if you went to a friend's house unescorted back then, you were putting your life at risk. Chewing Sugary Bubblegum Although it's now known that sugar can cause cavities, back in the 1960s it was considered to be a healthy snack. And because chewing bubblegum was considered to be a healthy activity, it was very common for children to chew bubblegum. So if you were a child in the 1960s, you may have been chewing sugary bubblegum all day long. Cereal with lots of sugar Cereal with lots of sugar was also considered to be a healthy snack in the 1960s. So if you were a child in the 1960s, you may have been eating cereal with lots of sugar for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Nuns who smacked Smacking your children as a form of discipline is now considered to be child abuse, but it was very common back in the 1960s. If you were a child in the 1960s and you got smacked by a nun, you were not alone. Nuns who smacked were considered to be disciplinarians, and they believed that it was the best way to teach children right from wrong. Hanging out in candy stores Although it was considered to be unhealthy, children of the 1960s loved to hang out in candy stores. And because there were no regulations prohibiting candy stores from selling cigarettes and alcohol, many children would buy cigarettes and alcohol for their parents. So if you hung out in a candy store back then, you may have been buying cigarettes and alcohol for your parents. Riding Bikes Without Helmets Riding bikes without helmets was very common in the 1960s, and many children were injured or killed as a result. Helmets are now considered to be essential safety gear for cyclists, and most of them come with built-in visors to protect your eyes from the sun. So if you rode your bike without a helmet back then, you were putting your life at risk. Hitchhiking Hitchhiking was very popular in the 1960s, and many children hitchhiked to and from school. Hitchhiking is now considered to be very dangerous, and it's illegal in most states. So if you hitchhiked to and from school back then, you were putting your life at risk. Playing outside unsupervised all day Playing outside unsupervised all day was common in the 1960s, and because there was no such thing as stranger danger, many children would play outside without telling their parents. So if you played outside unsupervised all day back then, you were putting your life at risk. Playing at the beach on your own Playing at the beach on your own was also very common in the 1960s, and because there was no such thing as stranger danger, many children would go to the beach without telling their parents. So, if you went to the beach on your own back then, you were putting your life at risk. No sunscreen Sunscreen was not considered to be important in the 1960s, so most children didn't use it. Many children would play outside without sunscreen all day long. So, if you played outside unsupervised all day long, you were putting your life at risk. Stickball and games in the streets Playing stickball and other games in the streets was very common in the 1960s. Many children would play outside without telling their parents. 
So if you played in the street without adult supervision back then, you were putting your life at risk. Drinking from garden hoses Drinking from garden hoses was very common in the 1960s. Many children were killed or injured as a result. Garden hoses are now considered to be very dangerous and they should not be used for drinking water. So if you drank from a garden hose back then, you were putting your life at risk. It's hard to believe that some of the things on this list were once considered normal, but they were. Times have changed and so have our standards for what's considered safe and healthy. We're grateful we live in a time when we know better and can do better to protect ourselves and our children from harmful substances and activities.